and welcome to my YouTube channel. I like to do acrylic pouring paintings and I have some paintings that I've done before but I did not record the works in progress. I'll show you those towards the end of this uh, particular activity here and what I wanted to do was to um, use this strainer to pour some paint that was left from previous projects. Now the one here on this side, these use the Golden High Flow um, acrylic and it includes Floetrol and also put some glue all in it. I'll leave the recipe for exactly what I did for those. And then on this side, these I use the Apple Barrel and it's the gloss. Um, that's on the lower end and same thing it has the Floetrol but there's no glue in these and I think that with the um, combination of the two products we might get some decent cell activity because there's also silicone so without further ado what we're gonna do is pour it on this tile that a friend gave me to see how this turns out and I also wanted to do a little bit of spinning action so I kinda did a makeshift thing here and we'll see how that goes. All right, so let's get started. First one we're gonna pour through our strainer here is the Apple Barrel White, and it should start trickling through. I'm not doing any particular little pattern or anything, just getting the colors. It's already spinning. I'm seeing some interesting things already. Okay, and this is black. I'm going to reach over here and get some of the high flow, golden high flow. Put a little white through there. And some of the red. Add some more of the purple. More of the white. Again, the apple barrel. And the black. Give you a good time here to let it spin a little bit. the remaining white from the apple barrel. And move it aside here so you can see some of the colors and the interesting, interesting patterns. Kind of like a marbling effect. Black can be very overpowering. That's nice definition. Some more white. Spin it a little bit. Some more of the red. is so cool. Let's 
purple is more of a lavender. That one's just about gone. Again, these were paints that were left over from previous acrylic pourings. That is neat. I really like that. I've seen a lot of people who are very skilled at the acrylic pouring actually do this, and I've been wanting to do it. Okay, a little bit more of the golden high flow acrylic. what it looks like underneath. Okay. Just gonna put this aside so we can lift. Normally I would have prepped this tile, but I didn't do anything to it other than clean it, clean the surface of it with alcohol. Don't want to stretch the top too much, but I'm going to cover this edge here. Just gently, gradually rotate it around. Oh, again, this is a 12 inch square tile. You can pick these up from your local hardware store or the big box stores like Lowe's and Home Depot. Okay, just about done here. One. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna put this back down. I like it. Now generally allow things like this to dry for at least two days. You need to just put it inside in an area that is not going to be jostled. You're not going to have like, children or pets that are going to come and touch it. But very happy with the result and just wanted to share it with you. Um, now I also wanted to show you the acrylic paintings that I previously did. This is one that I'm considering. This is one that I'm considering redoing because the composition is not consistent from top to bottom. This particular one is um, one that I'm very happy with. And I use polyacrylic to finish it off. Uh, I have Liquitex, I didn't have it at the time. Um, so I may do a coat of Liquitex varnish. And this last one is another one that I'm very happy with. The same thing, I think I'm going to put a coat of the Liquitex on it to protect it. I was also thinking about putting some vinyl. I have some adhesive vinyl, the HTV. Um, so I could do that or I could do, I could leave it as is. Either way it works. But thanks everyone for joining me and I hope that you like the content. Please like, subscribe, and return for content in the future. I will leave a description in the description 
the information regarding the uh, recipes that I use to create this particular painting. Thank you. Bye.